Hi everybody. Today's workout is a chest workout and this was from February 6th, um, Monday. And this was my seventh workout. And first time I've done incline bench press in a long time. I usually do dumbbells. So um, today I felt like I um, wanted to start with these and warmed up with the bar, which is 45 pounds, and I did 25 reps. And um, I felt these really, really good. This is the second set. I went up to um, 55 pounds, so I put a 5 on each side and did 20 reps with this one. And I just want you to notice that um, I'm arched up, so you can see that my lower back is away from the pad. My bottom is heavy on the seat. My upper back is touching. My feet are light. I'm not pushing with my feet. Um, in my opinion, whenever you start to push with your feet and your bottom lifts off the seat, you, you take away from your chest. So to get the best out of your chest and to make your chest do all the work, I think you have to keep your feet light and your bottom heavy in the seat. I'll squeeze the bench with my legs, but I won't lift up. I keep all my weight on my bottom. It kind of keeps me grounded and centered in my body. Um, this is the third set, and this is 65 pounds. And I think I got, I don't know, I, ca I counted 11 when I watched it before, but I could have miscounted. So somewhere around 11. And my chest was pretty pumped by, by this set and it was getting tired. You'll notice, see my feet are light. And I'll kind of squeeze with my legs, but I keep my bottom heavy so I stay centered. It keeps my core connected. And I think whenever you push with your feet, it, it um, one, it's cheating, I think. And two, it takes away from the chest. So when you really keep your bottom down and you make your chest do it, you get a lot more out of the exercise. So I did three sets of those and then I moved on to incline dumbbell press. And I have the bench elevated where I have three holes showing. So it's a little higher incline than just um, than what I just did on the incline bench press. But when you um, make the incline a little steeper, you work a little higher on your chest. And these were 20 pound dumbbells. Um, I did about 17 reps or so. And usually when I start with these, I'll probably start with 15s usually. Um, but since I was warmed up, I went ahead and started with 20s. And my next set, I jumped up to 25s. And I did about 11 same thing with these um, any type of bench thing you want to keep your bottom heavy and stay arched up you arch your chest up into the movement and actually when you're bringing the weights down your your shoulder blades kind of come together another thing you want to pay attention to is your your grip um, your your feet and your grip uh, a lot of times people will start to squeeze too hard with their hands and then they start pushing with their arms and their shoulders or if you're not arched up enough, you know, have your chest arched up high enough, um, you can, you'll, you'll put it in your shoulder. So you have to get that chest up, keep the elbows out, make sure once the weight starts to get heavier that you're not gripping too hard because that'll put it in your arms and take it away from your chest. Um, this was 20 pounds. I decided to drop back down and I did about 14 reps here and my chest was just getting really tired. So, um, third exercise, flat bench, and I had 65 pounds on. And for flat bench, one, I think it's because I'm short. Um, it's hard for me to kind of reach the ground. Um, but two, I also like having my, my feet up on the bench. I think it really puts helps to put it a little bit more on your chest too. You still you still arch up. Um, you don't push with your feet. You keep your feet light. 
and I did about nine nine reps on there. Um, this time I rested a little bit longer, and I got ten on this one. Um, my rest time between sets is um, usually a minute to three minutes, probably depending on how much I got out of breath and how heavy I was pushing. I usually wait until I kind of catch my breath and I have almost all of my breath back just so I have more strength for the next set. And from the incline dumbbell presses to the flat bench, I didn't really rest long enough for that first one. And um, here I did chin on chest dips. And um, on these, you want to keep your chin down on your chest the whole time. You don't let it lift. Keep your elbows out and you stay leaned forward. I only got five on that one. Usually, um, I can pop out about 10 to 15. Um, but my chest was just really tired. It's still not, not conditioned yet. So it'll get stronger as I go on. And this set, I rested a little bit longer. And I got six reps on this one. And again, notice I keep my chin down on my chest, slight lean forward, keep my elbows out. That's how you hit your chest. To do triceps, you keep your elbows in and you keep your body more straight and push up. Anyway, I hope you like the workout.